difference between the websites, between a slate or a salon or a BuzzFeed or a HuffPo. What is the difference? There isn't any. And this is a travesty. It's almost like it's almost like a weird conglomerate of groupthink that has developed in a dynamic era that should be vibrating. It should be vibrating. It should be controversial. But I guess it's fear. Uh, I, not everybody is cut from the same genetic background as you or I, Alex, of being brave and being able to stand up. You're on the camera. I'm not. You're more brave than I am. So this is the dynamic that I'm in. I would just like to wake people up. Stop operating in their playground. Stop it. Well, let me say this. I totally agree with you. I've tried. I couldn't pay for the bandwidth to put all of our videos out on our own platforms. Now we're doing that uh, at PrisonPlanet.tv and the Nightly News and putting ourselves you know, up on television to reach people because it's kind of like jacking into the matrix going into their playground. I try to then claw them over here to see what we're trying to do, what you're trying to do. But I totally agree with you. The answer is for all of us to create our own systems, our own ideas, because vibrant independent ideas will trump this corporate plastic borg this 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 brainwashing they're trying to push i mean banning father and mother uh banning you know the word husband and wife i mean that's so cultic that if i'd have been told 10 years ago they were going to ban words like that i wouldn't have believed it they do it with straight faces i mean has the left and, and of course the controlled right as well but have they gone collectively insane on on a control freak bent well or, I, or I would, is there a strategy i would also advise people to not waste their time on this i had a supreme court justice tell me to my face it's over for me I said matt it's over for you they've got the votes now to enforce copyright law you're out of there they're going to make it so headlines you can't even use headlines to have a supreme court justice Say that to my face, that it's over. They've got the votes, which means time is limited. Time is not forever. How many more moons and sunrises will you see in your life uh, rise and fall? There's not that many. It's a small amount. So for people to be saying with this attitude, oh, I'll get on with my life and my greatness sometime. No. No, you can't. We're being enslaved now, and, and that's it. Under the TPP, they admit you can't put a headline to the New York Times. You're sending massive traffic to them. They're claiming you're taking their words. This is insane. And you had the Justice Stephen Breyer said we need to look at a global law now. Remember just recently getting he it lined up, up with it. So they're getting ready for these decisions to come. You thought Obamacare was shocking. You thought some of these other decisions were shocking. Wait until these copyright laws work their way up and the Supreme Court decides you cannot have a website with news headlines linking across the board. Then that will end for me. Fine. I've had a hell of a run. It's 20 years next year or 20 years about now. Hell of a run. I couldn't I couldn't have gone any further farther. I feel completely I have gone as far out of the galaxy as I can on this. I still want to stay out here, but I've gone pretty damn far for what one individual can do in this culture. But I'm talking about the future. So I don't know why they've been successful in pushing everybody into these little ghettos of these Facebooks and these tweets and uh, these Instagrams, these Instas. This is ghetto. This is ghetto. This is corporate. They're taking your, they're taking your energy. They're taking your energy and you're getting nothing in return. Nothing. They're dumbing the language down. Twitter's designed to reduce the language directly out of 1984. It's Ingsoc. Right. Ultimately, it's boring and the kids are always off to something new, except for the something new is owned by the same freaking company or financed by the same banking system. So I'm here to say, and this is the reason why I came to see you, Alex, is you are one of the very few who are operating under this, this, under this theory to be an independent American in a, as, in a big way. If your calling's media, if your calling is media, fine. If your calling is sports, whatever it is, but you've got to be the greatest you can be now, now, before this country is so completely That's altered. Right. Yes. And we're left with Hillary's brain in the Oval Office in a jar. Because that's what we're getting. She's old and she's sick. She's not a contender. They're making her a contender with these propped up Saturday Night Live things. It's like a head on a stick. And then on the Today Show with the gun three, a head on a stick. She is not a viable, vibrant leader for this country of 300, including the illegals, 380 million Americans. So the media is trying to put us to sleep. 
You're not letting him, Alex. Let me I'm ask surely, you this question, Matt. Yeah. Is the establishment, which we know is diverse, but there's different conglomerates, is it panicking? Is it trying to push everything through right now because it knows people are waking up? Or is it just completely arrogant and thinks it's invincible? It's trying to consolidate control, yes, and there is a sense of panic about it. Uh, you look at a, a, a Telemundo or a Univision, they're kind of panicked. You look at some of these interviews that are, are happening this election cycle where Trump comes along, says a few things, just a few things, and soars to the top of the list. That's profound. Imagine if we actually had a good selection of candidates who were saying a lot, and I know Cruz and Rand and all the rest. However, you've got to be dynamic in this atmosphere, and it's a media country. You've got to be dynamic in media. That's the only thing that's going to work. So I am left with thinking there's not a lot of time to be your greatest self, especially online, because I don't, if it continues to get consolidated to this degree, and then we're moving into the robots, which you're so profound on, and it's going to get really ugly really fast. There's already automated news sites, Google News, hello anybody. They actually, the, the idiots reading that crap think there is actually a human there. There is no human there. You are being programmed to being automated, even up to your news. And Apple News, I don't know what that's about. That was also creepy. A same corporate glaze over everything. I don't see the world that way. I live in a world that's free, colorful, vibrant, takes chances, bold, stands up to power. Um, and that's where I've made my success. Well, uh, very eloquently said. I mean, really, if we don't affect the, the battle space, if we don't get involved in free speech now, that's all you, the listeners, all the Drudge fans, fans of freedom, no matter what color you are, no matter what political bent, we're going to lose everything. We know what totalitarian looks like. We know what oppression looks like we know what the dumb culture of of totalitarianism smells like this is it it's happening now and the future of the world is being decided so get out there make your own sites take action because matt you say you'll just go away if they do this we all know we're going to fight it we know they can't enforce it because if they can say that you can't even put a link up to a news site then that ends free speech and basic communication i mean i know they got the democrats out openly saying we need to bring in the fairness doctrine to the internet because of Matt Drudge, because you, quote, affect elections. Well, you're an American citizen that pays taxes, and you're allowed to be pro-gun. Well, but if they get enough sick people to elect it, the demographics will take care of themselves. We had a story this morning that they're finally releasing an artist in Cuba who painted Raul and, Ka and uh, Fidel as a pig, jailed without trial for 18 months. Look at Germany. Where they're arresting people that criticize open borders. Look, you've been so it's already happening. I, I'm just warning this country that yes, don't get into this false sense that you are an individual when you're on Facebook. No, you're not. You're a pawn in their scheme. Stay there. We got to come right back for yeah. a few more minutes and say bye. This is watch. incredible. Well, I tell you, a lot of energy entered the building. There's already a lot of energy in this building. Uh, a lot of smiles with Matt Drudge here. A Don, I guess, went to the door, and uh, we, we say don't let strangers in, but it was no stranger. Uh, Matt Drudge here in studio with us, and characteristically, uh, very uh, kind of like you know, Peter Pan, hard to hard to catch, hard to find, moves quick. He is right over there in the dark uh, with a handheld microphone. And of course, the conspiracy theories will begin. This isn't really Matt Drudge, but people can tell it is Matt Drudge. I've seen a lot of his speeches, heard him pop in on shows here and there. And it's always eloquent, always thought-provoking. This is particularly thought-provoking and will be a big newsmaker. They will attempt to control reality and say, how dare Matt Drudge hang out with that heretic Alex Jones? And we're always hearing uh, the last six, seven years that Matt Drudge is over, Matt Drudge doesn't exist, but then they have to admit Matt Drudge is bigger than ever. So this attempt to control reality or control who talks to who by these totalitarians that masquerade as liberals, I don't think is working. And now with Boehner being forced out, I think it shows the rumblings of the Tea Party beneath the surface. So, Matt, before you uh, leave us, and I really appreciate your time. Uh, oh, and by the way, the presidential candidates, that's exactly what you're saying, the rumblings. Look at anybody who has any form of success in the polls is because they rumble. Uh, where it's going to end up, I don't know. I'm very pessimistic. I'm very pessimistic on this race because I'm just not so sure it's not going to end up with the dreaded brain in the, in the jar in the Oval Office, once known as Hillary Clinton, who is hypothyroid. Anybody who is 70 years old who's hypothyroid, you do not elect president, 
ladies and gentlemen. You don't do it. Now they'll say, well, it has to be who her VP is, whether it's the Castro from San Antonio or the other Castro from San Antonio or the other Castro from San Antonio, whoever it's going to be. I, I'm just shaking now after seeing NBC giving her endless hours of airtime over the past 72 hours that Hillary's back and she's back for real. Now, what that means to you or me, what it means to me, I've got a long history with these people. They're ugly. They play dirty. They sued me for $30 million last time around with the approval of the president, announced by the press secretary of the White House, a civil action. These people, and they didn't have the NSA then. They had Echelon. They had all these other things you were talking about even then. Hillary Clinton with the NSA, good luck if you dissent. Good luck if you dissent. Snowden, I'll switch places with you. You can come over here and rotten hell because that's what it's going to be. So I'm very concerned with the lay of the land, but the rumblings you're talking about that we've seen a Trump, that we've seen a Carly, that do we see in a Sanders? Yeah, maybe. Also old, old. Can the Democrats find anybody under the age of 70? What is this oldness in a vibrant country that needs to go forward to a new century? So I don't know. I, I'm hoping for surprises. I'm hoping for some jolts. We'll have to see. On a few other subjects, and I appreciate your time. I'll quit bugging you. Uh, there's so much going on in the world. Obama now is talking about, well, Australia had a good plan. We may have to do that. That's clearly talking about gun confiscation. Now Hillary's doing it. CNN has pundits just saying, let's just take them. Do these people realize that this is the line in the sand at the Alamo? If they really come out in a frontal assault on guns, it means I think they're trying to start a civil war it just seems like insanity. I mean, they may tr think that they're Stalin or something. Well, because they're all armed themselves or they all have that security around them themselves. They don't have to worry about. I challenge Hillary. Take away your Secret Service. Take it away now. Take away your Secret Service. Dismiss them. Have no security around you. Have no guns around you, Hillary. I dare you. I dare you. Obama, same thing. Drop your guns, Obama. Take your Secret Service away, Obama. Take it all away. Leave the White House unguarded, Obama. Let everybody know there's no guns on the White House grounds, Obama. You know what would happen in 30 seconds? Both of those people would no longer be on planet Earth. So they're asking us to drop our guns and to drop our security measures or, or what? So this thing is very real, and I don't see how it's being taken seriously except for the sick voter. You can't underestimate the sickness of the American people right now. They're really sick. And that's to me. I'm more angry at the sick Americans than I am at Obama or Hillary. I'm really angry at the sick Americans. Matt Drudge, I used to listen to your radio show almost every Sunday. But I got to tell you, you are even more on fire than you were then. And I know you're smart, you know, not to be, you know, you know too available because uh, distance makes the heart grow fond. And I tell you, but it would be great if even once a week you did like an hour podcast or something, or maybe once a month with these thoughts. Because let me tell you, this is some really good radio, and I'm enjoying it. And I know the audience is. I mean, Matt Drudge is kind of co-hosting the Alex Jones show right now. This is crazy. <laughs> well, maybe I'll join Facebook. Oh, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> no, well, I can't. I, I realize that just my, my personality is that I've got to stay focused I can't be too. Side. I can't be too distracted. You no, know, no, I, your advice to me was right. You know, like a year ago, that don't try to do too much. I mean, you're well, right. To I have, Paul Joseph Watson, I told him, watch out for this. This, you know, it's it's a, it's a larger topic. But at my height of media availability, I was doing the website, the TV show, and the radio show at the same time, as you are doing now, as you are doing now. Uh, mine was with the corporations, Clear Channel, News Corp, and then the Drudge Report. But still, I felt just myself, it, it, I, I felt it was just more powerful to go to the web, plus not to necessarily be playing in their playground. Because the power of the individual, as you represent sitting there right now, is powerful to the heart. I said to Paul Joseph Watson when I saw him in London, which you just referred to a year ago, you're a romantic figure, Alex, in Americana. <laughs> it's, ro it's romantic what you do here every day. It just is. This is romance because you're an American standing up, tough, facing these headwinds. Wow, are they blowing? But you're there. And, there, there's, and you're not alone. 
Limbaugh, Savage, Hannity, Levin. There's a lot of people on the airwaves who are as brave. They are brave. And they are living it. 